Hi guys, hi guys, in this video we are going to create a virtual machine based on, on Fedora, sorry, Fedora 5.6.5. I've downloaded the min minimal 64 bit image and here is it. You can you can get one from the Fedora site. It's, it's it can be found very easily. I'm sorry for this. Okay, guys, you can Google it and you can find it, download it. I guess without my help, and that's why you are here. Okay. Now we know that our IO. ISO image is located in our downloads folder. Let's go to Virtual Machine Manager and create a virtual machine on our local host, which means on this very computer. Let's call our virtual machine web server and we are going to choose this option because we have an ISO image so we will install our virtual machine from ISO image which is located on on in actually to downloads folder and it is CentOS 6.5 our OS type is Linux our Linux version is Red Hat Enterprise 6. Let's go forward. We are going to use 1 gig of RAM, which is too much for for my PC because because I have I have only 100 and 30 megabytes free for now, but I guess that's because of FFmpeg. Let's let's see. And Firefox actually Firefox uses a lot of memory, so I will close it. We don't need Firefox for now. Okay, I guess now one gig is no actually it's not okay. Now two let's kill Skype which is not working. Anyways I'm going to make it five hundred twelve. Okay, ten gig is ten gig is okay, but Let's create a logical volume for our virtual machine. Let's see if we have if we have free storage. We have only one volume group and logical volumes are are these guys here and we have no we have no storage to create a new logical volume so we are going to use the existing ones customize configuration before um, okay let's let's use not for now finish and we are going to choose our Processor type, memory, disk. This this disk is read only. It, it's going to be mounted. Okay. Nothing to add for now, except for maybe this going going to be a weird. IO and this one here should be weird IO spice 
Everything is not bad anyways. We are not going to use anything of this. Okay, let's begin the installation. The virtual machine is being created. Install virtual machine. This is the installation of our virtual machine. We are don't going to test anything because we are installing the OS on the virtual machine so we for sure everything is okay with the hardware because it simply does not exist. Welcome to CentOS English US error processing drive VRT or VRT block device. The device may need to be reinitialized. Okay, reinitialized. America. We are not in America. We are. We are in. Asia Yerevan. Actually Yerevan is in Europe but Red Hat does not think so. Pick a root password, you must type it twice. Let's type it. Okay. Replace the existing Linux system. Okay. and write changes to this it creates, creates x4 file system it's going to make that file system on my root logical volume checking dependencies starting installation process Is it good idea to create the image on my root has twenty twenty nine gigabyte of free space so this is not a catastrophe for now but Maybe this is a bad idea, I should and you should to create testing images especially on the other volume, for example in home directory or somewhere else. You can use flash drives, actually I have one. Okay, it's installing the system. It's not going to take a long time for from us, but we can walk a little bit here. So this is the performance of our machine, performance monitor, the memory usage, processor, memory boot options is CD-ROM for now. The disk is Virtio disk. The storage format is RAW. CD-ROM is mounted and connected. This is randomly chosen physical address of our network interface, our virtual network interface. The driver is Virt.io. Tablet is not installed. Mouse is the same. Nothing interesting here for now.
Installing the Linux policy targeted. I bet some of you guys hate the cell Linux policies and are not happy about this guy here. Okay, buddy, hurry up. I could somehow speed up this thing here. Okay, let's let's give it a time give it some time. Go here and see TF minus H. Minus M H top. Nothing is terrible here. Okay. It's a lot of memory, as you see, guys. Yes, and this is the trace of the processes. Let's stop. Let's stop it. Go to our virtual machine. I need a better computer. to install this funny toy here to, to entertain you somehow guys Welcome to Santos. Reboot the virtual machine. Terminating Anaconda is done. Sending termination signals. Sending kill signals. Disabling swap. And so on and so forth. Well, the system has been rebooted. system is being rebooted 
now we see the CentOS 6.5 comes up which is good it comes up very 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 slowly root login is root and the password is I'm not going to tell you guys okay we now have a have a virtual machine installed it has 3 minus M it has 369 megabytes of free memory the CPU is not is not loaded too much 98.7% 99.3% is taken by idle process if, if we may call let's check if oh, you, we have no MTR let's check if we have internet connection if config sure we don't because we didn't configure the network interface yet etc is config network scripts and the name of interface is ethernet zero if config if config sorry if config ethernet zero hmm. Let's see what what settings should we have here. Yes, install SL and get us the IP IP address of the of the bridge interface. Sure, sure it is. Sure it is. This thing here, but if I'm not mistaken, it should take the IP address via DHCP. So let's no such deal. device. It came up ping. Mm, sorry, it shouldn't work. If conf let's try this one. If up Ethernet zero. Okay, it will it will send DHCP discovers and I guess it will get IP address from the host machine yes it did we could set it manually but it works now we should have internet connection and we do let's install mtr which is my favorite tool in linux you install mtr sorry It now update is the repository package lists and downloads the MTR package installs the MTR package now we have MTR on our host machine so this is it guys we now have a virtual machine with the operating system of Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 actually it's CentOS 6.5 and we are running that virtual machine on Fedora Core 17 which is also Red Hat Enterprise Linux so sorry for such a long video guys 
leave your comments, ask questions, should I make videos of this long videos or 5, 6, 7 minute videos are much better than this. Anyways, I decided to make this video to prepare a virtual machine to, to demonstrate the abilities, the help that can we can get from IP Road 2. So have a nice time, subscribe to my channel, I'm free now and I'm going to uh, add a new video almost every day. Have a nice day guys.